super easy. Yes, now that it. it's working, <laughs> we can totally do that. <laughs> Hi, Samaj. Hello. So, how are you guys doing today? <laughs> Is Jams being supportive? Yes, he came home and fixed the stream. He was out walking Bowser and he's like, Bowser, we have to leave the park and go help, help mom. And then apparently Bowser was not having it and just wanted to stay in the park. <laughs> Jams is the best boys who understand PMS are keepers. Exactly. Well, he grew up with three sisters, so I think he uh, he's probably used to it. <laughs> you guys are doing last assignment, busy. Oh, you live in a, a retirement village in Ireland. Awesome. That's good. Okay, well, let's get into this. So basically we were building a retirement village on the last stream and what we decided to do is build three houses. And cause last stream we had um, the stream drop cause of internet issues. I actually finished this off stream. So I'll quickly show you guys. <laughs> You're moving tomorrow, Almond? Oh, that's exciting. So we were just going with like a 70s vibe. So it's kind of cute. This one I thought we'd have maybe more of like a I was thinking more of an old single man living here, but then I thought, oh no, we may as well put two in each house. Oh, I don't know, we'll, we'll make the families later. I thought that was pretty cute. Tara's very into this vibe, nice. And then I thought this was cute as well, having this sunroom, which I think you guys came up with. Um, on the last stream, so that's kind of cute using, of course, nifty knitting. And then the bathroom's through here, and I thought, of course, we had to have a bidet because bidet is very, very handy, especially if you're elderly. The beautiful green on green. <laughs> a chair, of course, very useful, and an open shower. So if you need to, like, if an elderly person needs help, like getting in the shower, there's not like doors in a tiny space. Um, and I'm loving these old blinds as well. And then the other nice idea that you guys had was putting like hospital uh, things next to the bed. And Jerry, all hail Jerry. <laughs> and then there's this little outdoor patio area, which is kind of cute. Um, so yeah, that's basically the first house. And then I just repeated the house uh, two times, but have changed the exterior slightly. So there's like, I don't know, slight variations, but I thought one of them, we should totally renovate it. So it's like really nice and fresh compared to this one. And then another one, we might just do a completely different color scheme. So we'll just style it however we want to. And then the bit that I'm really excited about is, um this like community area, which was also your idea. So there's like a community garden, there's a hot tub where the oldies can uh, have a little romance maybe. <laughs> and uh, then there's this like nice dining area and skill building area where they can do like floristry design and um, painting and woodworking and all of that. So basically we just have to figure out which one we want to work on next. Do we want to do like a really refined posh little 70s house uh, that's all been freshly painted and furnished or do we want to do I don't know do you guys have ideas ah oh, thanks Tony Kaz ah oh, and thanks Sam PSC for the gifted subs that's so sweet are these um <laughs> are these uh sympathy subs <laughs> uh, thanks Sam PSC 
<laughs> Thanks very much. I'll get to reading out all of the notifications in just a second. Um, Posh Fab Granny who loves red and zebra prints. Very mid-century. I love that idea. That's a cool idea. And also, I don't know if we want to like put... Because I imagine maybe we could put couples in two of them. I, You know what would be really cute? If like the old man in this one got together with the old lady in the really posh house. <laughs> or the other thing is we could put like... Maybe a single man in this one. Then we could have a couple in another one. And then maybe in this one we could have two friends in like twin single beds. That could be nice. Ah, oh, Sturdy Cats, happy six months. That's exciting. Um, yeah, I'll go through the subs from before it went offline as well. That'll still come up. <laughs> Tara, I love that. You're ruderous, because it's just rude. Boat hostile granny. Oh, a cat lady apartment. Actually, that's a good idea. Or a cat, a cat couple, cat lady apartment. Mm. Old hippies who are free. Old hippies would be cute too. Oh, there's so many good ideas. See you, Chloe Anderson. Thanks for stopping by. And happy seven months, Miss L. Strike. I always go to say Miss Ella's Strike, but I think it's Miss L. Strike. <laughs> and Pirate Lover, thanks for the five months. Um. Okay, Maddie, thanks so much for the two months with Prime. Pirate Lover, thanks for the five months. Uh, Miss L Strike again for the seven months. Sam PSC, thank you so much for the five gifted subs again. Uh, some Bobo love in the chat. Where's my Bobo love? I don't know why, but my Bobo love emote just isn't available in my emote panel. It's so strange. So I'm just gonna give you uh, some some blobs. <laughs> I feel like there's no UK friendly time uh, for streams at the moment. Any plans to change this? I was kind of hoping that with the shifts in time zones around the world, because like daylight savings is starting and ending for a lot of people. We just started. I was kind of hoping that it might just move into a more Europe friendly time zone, <laughs> but I don't know if it's gonna work out like that. Maybe you're not subbed. <laughs> um, have you already decided what lots are going where in Newcrest? Uh, we kind of have figured it out, but not fully. So, I mean, we've only got one, two, three, four, five, six lots to go. So we've done most, we've almost finished it, really. Um, so basically we were doing, I think over here, some kind of night, I think we we're going to do like a bowling alley bar over here. And then we wanted to have a park as well. So I'm thinking maybe the park will go here or here. Uh, then we were going to do a mansion here and just two more residentials. Uh, good night, Nina Fah. Yeah, it's 2 a.m. in Norway, so it's later. Mm. I'll try and add in a night stream. The problem is when it's a good time for Europe, it's night time for us. And when I stream at night, I just don't really sleep afterwards because I'm so hyped up. And I think because I've got lights on as well and big screens, it like keeps me up all night. <laughs> um, Abigail Mo, thank you so much for uh, subscribing. Welcome. And Maddie, thanks for the two months with Prime. Miss L Strike, thank you for the seven months. Again, I've shared you out like four times. <laughs> I'm Yose, thank you for the three months. Uh, and the lovely message, Haley, thank you for the prime sub. Do you play Animal Crossing? I do, I haven't played for a little while though. Aw, I'm I Yose, thank you. 
I'm Yose, thank you. Um, Haley, thanks for stopping with Prime and Pixlay Jordan for the bits. Gotfan, thanks for the eight months. My cool username, good to see, thanks for the bits. Uh, Tara, thanks for the five months. Big hugs from a fellow Melbourneian, hello. Sarah Kendall, thanks for the four months. Uh, words lead me on, thank you for the five months. <laughs> and the lovely comments. Olman, thank you for the four months. Sarah Nicole for the two months, Felicity228 for the three months, KT Bird for the three months, Skinny Kappa for the massive 21 months. Damn. Skinny Kappa. Um. Hey, Sis Legacy, how you doing? Uh, where was I? Swift Unicorn for the two months. Ta. Oh my gosh, I can never, I can never pronounce this. Taz Shalascha, thank you for the eight months with Prime, happy eight months. And the Angela animates, thanks for the three months. May Bobo bless you, Stony Cows for the six months. There it is. Amelia, thanks for the four months. And Martyrs for the four months. Edison for the one month. Um, and Melissa for the one month. Oh, and Mipla, thank you for gifting the tier two to Kaz. And for the I Spy, he guys played I Spy. <laughs> He's my favorite villager. Hmm. I mean, I should say Deli, because Deli, alert, same name. But I kind of, I love Timmy and Tommy. They're really cute. I like Mr. Nook, the dirty crook. Um. I don't know. In my village, I'm trying to think. I like the most. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Bella Christy Stevens, thanks for the two months. And Hoppity's coming in with the 20 months. Thanks, Bella and Hoppity's. Aw, thanks, Tiny Plumbub. Sislicracy, I couldn't type fast enough. So Sislicracy is gonna be, if you guys came to the streams um, like a year ago, Sislicracy would call in and be like, hey, and have a little chat. So uh, Sislicracy is gonna be calling in some future streams, I think. I love Tommy, but not Timmy. Isamelon, that's just so rude. How can you separate these brothers like that? <laughs> Ambi, thanks for subscribing for three months. And Juju McGumbo, what's up? Uh, and Melissa, thanks for the one month. All right, well, let's get into this. So, okay, so I think we'll have a couple in this house. Uh, and maybe another cat couple. And then also a very refined, posh old lady. Um, maybe with the red door. So let's do the cat house first. Tommy is simply the superior twin. Why is this? Maybe they can have a different color.
Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, I think we're back. Oh, so it's just back on now. Yeah, I just, I don't know. That that was really weird. I don't know what happened. Did it just crash? Uh, I don't know. Maybe the cable was loose and it just kind of fell out. Although I don't think there'll be game audio now because we might have to save and restart the game. That uh, sometimes happens. Live yeah, soon, maybe, guys. <laughs> maybe I didn't put in the USB. I don't know. That was, that was weird. Yeah, I don't know what is going on today. It's just odd. What is this? Oh, I'll let you do this. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> have fun, Fun's guys. Sorry. Don't have too much fun without me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jams. Okay. okay. We're almost back. <laughs> so weird. Okay, let me let me see if I can even play music again. Um Okay, I think the music is working. Oh, so strange. Gotta love tech issues. Gotta love when everything's connected and working and it, you know, it just decides that it doesn't feel like working the whole stream. <laughs> Thanks, Digital Cats. Play Dream Daddy. <laughs> Hello. I'm so sorry about the tech issues today. It's just bizarre.
am just gonna share media player for a second. There we go. Okay, we're back. Um, lucky we didn't do anything because we would have lost everything. Okay. Okay, we're back on. It's all good. <laughs> Okay, I'll turn the music down a bit. I'm just really hoping it doesn't just randomly drop out again. Basically, I think what the problem is, is yesterday James unplugged a wall socket, which of course you think when you put it back in, it'll be fine to work. But I don't know what that did because it's like reset a lot of the audio stuff. And then I think the audio interface keeps crashing. So the stream keeps going, but the audio crashes and then you have to reset it. It's very strange. Oh, what's a deli stream without tech issues? <laughs> uh. So if anyone is familiar with this stuff, that's, that's kind of what's going on, I think. Oh my gosh. How's the music? Is the music needing to be a little louder? Uh, Kootenai, thank you so much for subscribing. I got a little hiccup. Okay, it's gone. Uh, music is good. Everything's good. It's back. It's better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm very impressed that 750 of you guys are still watching with this all going wrong. So thank you. <laughs> That's any stream really, yeah. Okay, well let's start this. So, I mean, we could just go into create a sim. I'm sure the mods would think that's a great idea. <laughs> create a sim stream. The stream will go for 10 hours. We could do like a 24 hour create a sim stream quite easily, I think. Laura, thanks for subscribing. Leona, thanks for the 13 months, but actually 15 months. Awesome. And Galadry17, thanks for the prime sub. And Hoppities for the 20 months. Super exciting. <laughs> Mipla wishing she had slept right now. <sighs> okay, Pickle Fam. Loyalty is very, very loyal. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Okay, so we're gonna make like a cat-inspired apartment. And I do wanna make it look a little bit different. I mean, we could, <laughs> we should do like yellow or well, in the fancy schmancy apartment, we were gonna do like red and zebra, which I'm very excited for. Maybe the cat one could have more pinks, but I don't think we should do, you know, typical cat lady. I think it should be an elderly couple who just really, really love their cats. What about like a elderly gay couple? Um, and their cats. Why, this is reminding me of Professor Umbridge <laughs> with all the pink and the cat theme. Maybe, maybe we won't do Professor Umbridge apartment. <laughs> Lesbians with cats. Inspired by Professor Umbridge. <laughs> Let's maybe change these cupboards to a lighter colorway as well. So they're, they've done a little bit more renovating than the last uh, house. Oh, I remember why we didn't have light counters in here because of the clipping. That's okay, we can do light counters with a darker top. I got the hiccups. Oh, this is like electric guitar track. Okay. Uh, why do they have to be gay? Why can't they just be lifelong friends? Well, that's why I was also saying we could just have two twin beds in here uh, and they could just be friends. 
Although I would, if we've got a male, a guy in here, and then we're gonna do like a crazy, fabulous lady in here. That's why I was thinking it would be good to have. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Let's just make this into a crazy cat apartment. <laughs> One of the old men can have a crush on the posh lady. Exactly, I was thinking the guy living in this apartment would have a crush on the posh lady in this apartment and it would be really cute. <laughs> oh my gosh, the pink and the green. Please a gay couple. Um, we could do floorboards in this one. As much as I... I love the the carpet. But what it wouldn't be a crazy cat lady apartment without the carpet, right? Also, thank you so much for being so lovely before when I was upset on the stream. I know most people would probably just wait until they've calmed down to go live and just kind of like look like nothing was wrong, but I just I don't know, I've always not had an issue with being upset on camera and being live. Like, I think occasionally I'll have a cry in a video or on stream and I don't, I feel like it normalizes a bit. So, um, hopefully you guys aren't put off by it. I don't know, I'm just, I like to keep things a bit raw. <laughs> um, are you going to make the Sims to go in them? Yeah, we might, we'll see how we go. Skulls is definitely a crazy cat lady. I think I agree. Skulls is definitely crazy cat lady vibes. When Deli cries, we cry with her. <laughs> oh no, I don't want you to cry with me. <laughs> My sister and I live together. I'm a widow and she's gay. Oh, I love that. I mean, obviously I'm sorry that her partner passed away, but it's so nice that you guys both live together. Um, yeah, we could do like sisters actually in this apartment. Uh... <laughs> we're all human, yeah. We're all human. We're all human, as uh, Kath says from Kath and Kim. But I think some people get put off by it when people are raw. So that's why I'm like, oh, I don't know, like, some people might be like, that's unprofessional. But no. I think it's a good thing. I'm not really feeling this wallpaper though. I, I feel as though I always come back to this classic wallpaper. It's just the best. And I also thought when I built this, we would have, oh, but it doesn't go with the orange door. Maybe this should have a blue door instead. Mm. Maybe we'll put bricks on, on this one instead. I was trying to just make them have slight differences. And also all of them have, cause when my grandparents, oh, whoops, I did this the wrong way. When my grandparents moved into their um, retirement village, they, actually, I think there's a version of this with dark wood. Oh, it's like a red wood. Oh, look at those colors together, the blue and the green. Epic. Uh, when they moved into their house, they they were given a few furnishings. Like they had a mirror in there and like, I don't know, a couple of chairs. So I thought it would be fun to leave a few of the items in every apartment, as in that's kind of what they're given when they, when they move in. It exists in the apartment already. Oh my gosh, I love the matching microwave. <laughs> Fanciest nursing home ever. You just want to see some husband ashes on the mantle. Oh yeah, so I've never really been to anyone's house where 
well, that I've noticed where they have ashes in an urn on display. But I know a lot of people do that, like probably um, some of you guys will have ashes in your house on display. And I've never seen that before. And I have a friend whose house I went to and they had um, this big urn with initials on it um, of someone in their family. And I think I mentioned at some point, I was like, oh, um, that's this person's ashes. And they, it was funny because they were like, oh no, no, it's just one of their hats. <laughs> it was just a box with their hat in it on display. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> just a funny moment. The matching microwave is amazing, isn't it? I can't wait to do the posh lady's house. Actually, we can put a pink fridge in here, I think. Discreetly, yeah. It's the Norman all American movies. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's just like, some people like, like, I mean, it, everyone's different. Like different things comfort different people. So I guess some people find it really comforting. Uh, doggy ashes and ends. Aww. My friend used his cat ashes to hold down his keyboard to keep it on for work. And we said that cats like sitting on keyboards, so yeah. <laughs> oh, that's nice, Tara. Their hats, I'm dead. Yeah, they were like, um, cause they, they were in a, they were a, a judge so it was a it wasn't just a hat it was a um like judge wig you know those wigs that they wear some people wear ashes and jewelry too yeah yeah i was looking into oh, pink bin oh i love it i wish these i mean are there any pink counters uh not really of any oh this would these would be perfect, but they're custom content. Oh my gosh, I wish we could use these. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. I wonder if these come in pink. Yeah, we can do the, the creamy colors though. Maybe I'm kind of leaning towards just going back to the brown carpet in here. Green or brown? I mean, the green does go with the the leaves. No, Deli, no, use them. <laughs> use the CC. We've been trying so hard not to use CC. The green or cream carpet. Oh, the cream's pretty good. Guys, I think the cream is perfect. I like the cream. The green, we could put green carpet in the bathroom. <laughs> okay, raise your hand in the chat if your bathroom has carpet in it. We could do like a, um... <laughs> a tile corner in the bathroom. <laughs> I know someone has carpet in their bathroom in the chat. I have carpet in my bathroom. There we go. <laughs> Guys, I think we need a we need to put some yas honey in the chat for tea horse sims in their carpeted bathroom. <laughs> tea horse is that um because you like the carpet in the bathroom or just the house came that way. You had removable carpet that was pink. That's cool. Have you posted on Instagram that you're live? No, I haven't posted anywhere. I thought, cause I was a little upset at the start of the stream. I thought I'd keep it a little smaller. <laughs> Not be like, hi guys, I'm live. <laughs> Uh, oddly, Ariana, thank you so much for the two months. Um, oh, thank you for the lovely comment. 
I'm glad to have been helpful. Wait, did Deli respond to me having carpet in my bathroom? I got an ad. Oh no, t -whore. I was just saying um, we should all put yas honeys in the chat for your carpeted bathroom. And then I asked, um, is it carpeted by choice? Like you wanted carpet or if it just came with the house and you'd like to change it someday. Cause some people like carpet in the bathroom and that's okay. We won't judge, but we are interested. Uh, Music Addict, thanks for the four months. Pilbo Baggins, thanks for the three months. Uh, yeah, t -Horse shouldn't be getting ads if they're subscribed, but sometimes you have to refresh your, you have to refresh your stream. No, definitely not by choice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I really want to see a picture in the Discord of the carpeted bathroom. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> As much as I love these green tiles, I think we could change them in the bathroom. We could do blue tiles in the bathroom. Actually, what other, oh, I wonder if there's, what other sink colors do we have? Oh, we can put red in the red ladies. <laughs> if anyone has carpets in their bathroom, post in the Discord. <laughs> Uh, the toilet, I think, is from... Let me check. This is actually from City Living. Uh, Mac 3 Not. That's awesome. Oh, the 90s, 60s wallpaper. Yeah, we could use that. Yes, a little bit too much. It's kind of nasty. <laughs> I want to see it. I, you know, carpet in the bathroom will probably come back at some stage. You know, here we are laughing about it, but you just wait, give it another 10 years and it'll be all the rage. And people will be like, oh, I love carpet. Cause like you step out of the shower and it feels so good on your feet. If there was new technology carpet, where is this wallpaper? Oh, is it from a pack? I thought it was base game. Oh, here it is. Oh yes, this is great. Soggy carpet. Demi Moore has a carpeted bathroom? Seriously? We watched Charlie's Angels Full Throttle. Demi Moore carpeted bathroom. I have to, oh my gosh, she does. Demi Moore has a fully carpeted bathroom and we have questions. Brown carpet. Oh, I wonder why. Oh, I'll break it off. No carpet in the bathroom, that's grim. Scarlett, do you have carpet in your bathroom? I didn't know you had carpet in your bathroom. I feel like you don't. No, I do not, yeah. <laughs> she has a couch in her bathroom too. Hey, Miller. Good to see you. Um, probably because she can afford to get it cleaned all the time. Oh yeah, you could lie down in your bathroom if you're a bit tired. You could, yeah. I don't know, guys. I think we really do need the carpet in this bathroom. The more I try different things, the less I like it, and the more I just want to go back to our carpet. We could... I feel like it needs to be, like, up to here. <laughs> it's so bad. I 
I mean, under the sink, there's carpet too. Should we put some tiling under there? Oh no, you know what we can do? We can just put like a grate. Like a little, um, you know. <laughs> as long as there's some, some area for the water to go out, it's fine, right? <laughs> It just needs some bright orange. Yeah, we don't, I don't think there's many bright orange things in the game. Oh, we do have these types of things. I think we'll get to have more fun in the next one with um, crazy colors. Okay, so this is going to be the, the cat apartment. And we were thinking of having a lesbian elderly couple in here. Or well, the other idea was to have like um, two single beds, like friends. But I think cause gay representation in elders is a lot, well, it's not really shown that often. We should, we should do that instead. I wish it was a cat bedspread. So it looks like this uh, this build's gonna use quite a few packs where we're kind of not restricting ourselves too much because now we're gonna use cats and dogs, which we weren't going to use before. I love these blinds. These blinds are like, everyone's had these blinds or has these blinds. See if there's any other different ones we can have. Maybe for this house we can have these blinds. And we had this metal medical equipment in the last house, but I don't think we need medical equipment in all the houses. Just because different people have different needs. But when the stream, oh, we can put in this, this one instead. When we, uh, when the stream ended last time, because oh, of technical difficulties. Oh. That's beautiful. Oh my God, I really wanna put that in the other apartment now. Oh. oh, that's so good. <laughs> I had so much fun just off camera building this house. It's, this is such a fun build. Uh, Susu Anna, thank you so much for the four months. Appreciate you. Thanks, oddly Ariana again. Starbird, thank you so much for the 20 months and for the lovely comment. Mint and turquoise in general is your favorite. Mint and turquoise um, probably aren't colors that I put in my own spaces, but I do like seeing them. I do, I probably prefer mint to turquoise. like. Mint is awesome. I really want to like put curtains all through here. Sisligracy would just, she couldn't with this house. <laughs> Critic Zeus! Aw, hey Zeus, thank you so much for the raid. Hello, uh, most of you guys will know uh, my good friend, Critic Zeus, who is a fellow streamer and YouTuber, uh, playing a lot of Among Us at the moment, but you were playing, what were you playing today? I've forgotten the name of it. Um, 
Anyway, you guys should definitely check out Zeus's stream. Can we get a shout out for Zeusy, please? I miss you, Zeus. How are you going? <laughs> uh, and how's the stream? This house hurts me a little. Yes, it's like I say, you just, no, you couldn't. Oh, this one's even better because there's an extra pattern. <laughs> oh. We were ghost hunting, Minecraft and Phasmophobia. That's the one. You screamed really loudly today. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. You know, as much as I love these curtains, I do feel like the blinds look better in here. Sadly. I did like them though. I just really wanted a reason to use them. It's weird how this wall keeps coming back. So is it a horror game or is it just like an icky game? Continue the orange along here. Uh, I'm loving the feel of it. Oh, and by the way, for anyone who's just come in the raid, we are building a retirement village uh, in Newcrest. So this was a house we just built. It's very like, 70s vibe and over here we're creating like elderly lesbians crazy cat lady apartment over here um so it's kind of like a bit of a stereotype with more of a twist a little bit of extra spice which i like uh, and yeah, I really wanted to use those curtains in this house because there's so much green that we can use. Oh dear. Yeah, horror. It uses voice recognition to talk with the ghost. Oh my gosh, that's scary. Uh... What? Brain eating a MOBA? What is that? That sounds creepy. We could put it at the front door. That's quite nice. Although I think it's more tasteful when you can actually match it to the color of the walls. Like this. Oh no, I put it on the outside of the house. Oh, cut. Curtains on the exterior. I bet someone is into that and has done that. Oh, there we go. We could add it in the bathroom and the bedroom. Love that. Oh, we should do like a yellow mustard in here. This house is very brown. It is. It's very, um, very 70s. Yeah, GC fan, thank you so much uh, for gifting the one month sub to Sislegracy. So nice, what happened to the Sislegracy sub? <laughs> well, happy one month, thank you, GC fan. Uh, thank you so much. Oh, T Horse Sims, what if the lesbian couple tell everyone they're just friends so they can each independently attract wealthy men and take their money so they can build their own house? <laughs> So there, uh, oh, the yellow. Oh my gosh, there could be a sailing room. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, that's this one. Oh, that's my tummy. Don't know if you guys could hear that then. Or we just go back to the classic floral. I think the floral probably looks more convincing. <laughs> Let's face it, you were broke. <laughs> this is like it's saying it disappeared and Skulls is like, you were broke. I, I think it did disappear. I don't know why, but I remember that we're like, oh, that's weird. It's gone. It must have been something to do with PayPal. Like changing accounts or something. You like the floral? Yeah, me too. I mean, 
I do like looking at our other options because this would this is kind of cute too. Having what's this pattern called again? Oh, there's the brown. Oh, that's quite nice. I mean, it is very brown. Oh, brown with mustard curtains. Love it. I feel like the guy here would be like super grumpy old man. Gingham, that's it. Oh, that would have been cool, pixelated Jordan. Tilly Nora, thanks for the two months, appreciate you. And thanks Critic Zeus for the 47 months. Woo! <laughs> I didn't thank you for the 47, thank you. It's not building in The Sims if you don't spend five hours looking at your options only to go back on the first thing you picked. B likes the brown. I think the brown's kind of nice. I don't, as much as I want to use these curtains, they do sit a little strangely. Oh. I could like put it behind the bed too. Is it covering up anything? Oh yeah, we're covering up. Cause my, my grandpa, uh, he really loved gold and yellow. So I was kind of inspired by having the yellow bed and lots of like gold things. He would say this wasn't colorful enough though, this room. He'd want wall, he'd want like blue or something in here too. But I think for this sim, it's not bad. It is very brown. Okay. Uh, <laughs> moving back to the apartment we were working on. <laughs> Isn't it, Amanda? With the cat lady's house, could we call the cats pistachio and rose after the house color and flavors of Turkish delight? Oh, I love Turkish delight. We could do. I'm thinking I want to get some more vertical wood in here too. Maybe just by the doorway. Oh, that's not vertical, that's horizontal. This wood is perfect, but then again, we're adding in another pack. This one doesn't come in the right color. Sparte, we don't really want to use. I mean, if someone downloads this and they don't have outdoor retreat, they can just change that to the, to the tiling or this wallpaper. It's just a nice little, little cheeky addition. Uh, what packs? Well, we have added a, a few extras because this is like a crazy, because it's like three lots in one, like three builds in one. And they have different themes. I wanted to add cats and dogs, whereas the last house was like super duper 70s. So we used bowling stuff. We used uh, vintage glamour. We've used city living just for these details too. So this really is kind of a mixed bag of things. These are so big, these side tables. Just like, wow, big bedside tables. <laughs> Whereas James, uh, I think he's just watching TV in the other room. He didn't want to, he didn't want to come on camera today. <laughs> but he said hello earlier. And he also fixed all of our tech issues. What is Turkish Delight? Oh, Pixelated Jordan, it's so good. Um, how, I don't even know how you describe it. Turkish Delight's flavored from rose syrup, isn't it? Or rose flavoring, I thought. I might've made that up, but I thought that's where it, the flavor came from. And it's like, it's beautiful. It's usually got like icing sugar dusting 
on the outside and it's like kind of a sophisticated jelly that you eat and often it's coated in chocolate. Uh, rose water, rose water. What did I say? Rose syrup. Oh, it's so good. And if you get the proper Turkish delight, it's insane. Um, in Melbourne, there's a suburb called Pran and there's a market there called the Pran Market and there's a Turkish delight store there. And oh, it's so good. Olivia, um, you don't like, you don't like Turkish delight, do you? Plushy Pug, thank you so much for the two months. Um, also, we could try Sisligracy on Discord now that the audio is fixed. Um, I feel like it would be okay. <laughs> it's from the gods. Oh, you like it? I thought you didn't like Turkish Delight. The store in Paran is so good, isn't it? Has the, I assume the Paran market's still been on during the pandemic because it's, it has essentials, but it, cause it's not outdoors. I was like, are they, do they still have it on? Oh, it also has the best cheese toasties, does it? You've never heard of it? Oh, tiny plum bob, it's good. Mix and match the end tables. Yeah, I think I was leaning towards that as well. <laughs> this actually looks quite 70s, this table. It's like both ranchy and 70s at the same time. Everything is shut. Yeah, I thought the market was still open though because it's like food and essential groceries. Because there's, you know, a lot of people who only would go to the market for their things. I feel like a lot of European residents in Melbourne like going to the markets more. Farmhouse song, yes. Crackhead vibes, solid username. Do you like my farmhouse? My farmhouse. Do you like it or not? I think it's pretty awesome. It's a banger. We need cat pictures. We could put some Sims in here and then take pictures of the cat. Actually, there's probably cat pictures on here. Uh, it'd probably be in rooms. Cat paintings? Cat pictures? Surely someone's uploaded cat pictures. Oh, here we go. There's some. What are these? I like these two. Cat pictures. What are these ones? Oh, those are like cat real life photography, which doesn't really suit the game. Let's try these. So shout out to Shani. Let's just place it here. What have we got here to pick from? <laughs> That's funny. I don't want any English in the game. These all have English written on them. I only do Simlish in my game. I think these look edited enough that they don't look like too real, too much like realistic photography. <laughs> hey Susie Simsy, what's up? Yeah. 
Actually, if we size them down, they also look more max and smatch, I think. So we've got their cat pictures here. Uh, I'm tempted to add a couple of windows in here too. Those cat pictures are, are iconic. Yay! And also if we're using cats and dogs, instead of the big glass sliding door in here, we could add this cottagey door. Which then I think means we can put an extra window in without it looking like it's too full. Oh, I got a really cool magazine today, you guys. Um, uh, when I go to the bathroom, I'll show you it because it's, it's a page I follow on Instagram. I think it's called The Local Project and it's full of, they make like a quarterly big magazine. And it's, I'm not sure if it's always based on Australian and New Zealand architecture, design and renovations, but at least this current issue is. So I was really excited to get it in the mail and it just came today. Um, so I think I'm gonna get some inspiration from that, especially renovations. I really wanna see some renoed old houses. But I feel like in so many design magazines, they show like, the after renovation, but they never show what it looked like before. So you can't see what they've done. And I don't understand why they do that. Like it's all the time. It's like these renovations and then it's just, oh wow, that works perfectly with this wallpaper. But then you don't see the before. It doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> Have you guys noticed that? Can we do a pink bathroom? We went really green for this house, but they've renovated like the living area. I haven't started reading Mariah Carey book yet. I kind of, I think I went a little crazy with magazines. Um, Cause I got, because the Mariah Carey book I ordered a few weeks ago. Riverstone Aid, thank you so much for the four months and Taehan, thanks for the, uh, for the prime sub and plushie pick for the two months as well. Thank you so much, you guys. And Don, thanks for the three months. So I got um, some interior design and renovation magazines. I don't know if you guys knew this, but Deli went to art school. Yes, I am a graphic designer. Don't know if you guys knew that. So I got interior design and architecture magazines. The Mariah Carey book arrived. This magazine, which I ordered a couple of weeks ago, arrived like all within a few days. And oh, I got a wedding magazine don't get excited no i'm not getting married but it's just fun to look at um and it was it's actually really interesting because the wedding magazine is a issue focused on like isolation weddings and they're calling them micro weddings so for weddings where you're only allowed like five guests in australia i think um so i'm excited to just look at how people have gone about that we knew it. Well, it was funny because I posted a video of Bowser on Instagram and I didn't realize that the the wedding magazine was in frame. And I was going through DMs today and there were people, some of you guys were like, oh my God, is that a wedding magazine? I was like, oh no. <laughs> you guys, see, you always, like, you can't hide anything from you guys. You'll always notice anything. Yeah, exactly. Jams is like his emote. <laughs> when he saw it, he was like, <laughs> um, Sis Ligracy, you'll probably enjoy having a flip through it as well. It's really cute. It's just really interesting seeing how people go about things in isolation. And the other thing that I have to say that I really enjoyed um, about reading in a few of these magazines was, cause they're all current and they've just been published and released. 
they talk about the pandemic a lot and a lot of them, their editorial article at the front, um, a lot of their editors are speaking about during tough times because of this pandemic um, that you search for, what would they say? You were searching, you search for love, good health, um, but mostly you just search for love during these tough times. And it, if you focus on that, it keeps you grounded to get through it. And I was like, oh, that's such a nice thing to read about. I'll definitely have a read, but I want the cheapest wedding alive. <laughs> well, micro weddings, it could be a good time. <laughs> I bet you so many people are relieved there's a pandemic because they could just have their micro wedding without their family pressuring them to come. <laughs> No, I'm not engaged. I'm far from being engaged, but I have always liked buying a wedding magazine now and then just to fantasize. But this is the first time I've had a boy living with me who will see these fantasies <laughs> and then probably be like, well, what is wrong with her? <laughs> Cheapskate. <laughs> I mean, I think it's very smart to keep things as cheap as possible. I can't say I'm smart enough to do that, but I think it is very smart. I admire people who can do that, or of course a lot of people have no choice, but to keep it very, very cheap. But it's not a bad thing. One of my friends had a extremely stunning wedding that I went to. Um, oh God, it was so bad though, cause it was, <laughs> it was when I had broken up with a boyfriend a long time ago. And um, it was, it was the first time I had seen him since our breakup with his new girlfriend. So it was like, and I think at the time I, I still had a lot of feelings, right? I, I definitely wasn't over it. And it was, uh, it's a story for another day, I think. <laughs> it was, uh, I had really good friends with me there. We did have a great time for most of the night, so that was good. But it, there, there was, there's some laughs about that story. Not for today's stream though. Aw, Cinder Lilies, that's so nice. Cheap weddings are beautiful. Yeah, I actually, they're chipper cheap. Exactly, Mandy Morgan, quote from Father of the Bride. <laughs> oh, can we all take a moment to imagine Bowser in a little bow tie tux for the wedding? You know, I would love Bowser to, oh, Olivia, imagine if Bowser was the flower boy and you were the bridesmaid and you like walked Bowser down the aisle. <laughs> You'd probably, he, what he would do is he would mark every chair down the aisle. He would like pee on all the guests' chairs. He would mark it all the way down. <laughs> I'm not cheap, my wedding will be in VR. Very creative. I'd be down for that. <laughs> Yeah, he, he marks because he's not um he's not desexed, so he marks all the time. <laughs> and he just yeah, he'd love it. Oh, look at this. That's cool. Um, and then he cause he's very aloof with strangers, as chow chows typically are, um, he would tell off every single person, every guest at the wedding that he didn't know. So he would probably go, <gasps> at the mall. <laughs> Sorry, I got a sniffly nose. Don't worry, this top needs a wash afterwards. <laughs> I'm a mess. <laughs> Can have a little pink in here. Okay, I think the thing that we're definitely missing is cat items. Because if you're a crazy cat person, you really want cat things in all of your, um, in all your rooms. Do you think you'll get Bowser fixed? Maybe eventually, but he hasn't shown any aggression 
he doesn't try and escape. He doesn't hump. Um, all he does is mark a lot. Like he really hasn't shown. Um, he doesn't. He hasn't even humped a dog that's come off heat or just been on heat. He'll get excited and smell them, but he's he's so like. How do you just? I don't know how to describe him, Olivia. He's just very. He loves being the center of attention too. Yeah, he's weird. Oh, cat figurines. Good one. Um, K Bar, thank you so much for subscribing. My girl dog humps everything. Yeah, the female dogs I've met, they hump more than the male dogs. You know what? Why have a plant when we can have a cat thing here? So yeah, we. I don't think we'll get Bowser desexed. Um, the other thing is, I wouldn't want to desex him until eighteen months anyway, if possible, so he can be fully grown and all those hormones have got him to the point of being fully grown and his behavior is fully matured because they say that if you desex dogs too early they get stuck with puppy behaviors too that's um something we were told by the breeder which not everyone agrees with a lot of vets disagree with that but i don't know i was thinking okay may as well wait a bit there's no rush if there's no oh and he's fully he's registered legally as not being desexed either which is more expensive but that's all registered properly in the council too i think probably the biggest thing is that he gets to go to daycare and he's not desexed because they they always make sure females at daycare are desexed but they'll only allow really well behaved males to be at a daycare a doggy daycare without being desexed. So I think that says a lot too. But then again, if he starts like trying to escape and running across roads and like humping dogs, then he will be desexed. <laughs> a cat tree, therefore a plant replacement. Exactly. Your dog is more aggressive when they aren't neutered. Yeah, of course, but he isn't aggressive at all at the moment. <laughs> Bowser has made me want to chow one day. I keep telling anyone who comes up to me, who's like, I wanna get a chow chow. I'm just like, don't get a chow chow. They're too much work. They are the most, they're such high maintenance and so hard to train. If you want a chow chow, you gotta be like really committed to it. He's such a good boy. Mm. Uh, Natalie, we've started using cats and dogs for this crazy cat apartment. <laughs> he was crazy. All dogs are high maintenance, yes, but not all dogs have the grooming that chows or long haired dogs need. That's a lot of work. I have to, I brush him every day, basically. I don't think many, like, a lot of people just, you don't, it would be very fair for m most people do not have the time and energy to do that every day, especially if you've got like a family and you don't work from home, you're having to go into work and all of that. Should Jerry be in every apartment? <laughs> but yeah, all dogs are uh, high maintenance, aren't they? <laughs> Oh yeah, Amanda. Well, I think female dogs also, um, we have a friend whose female dog, um, they didn't want to get her desex because they really wanted to have puppies with her at some stage, but they just found when she went on heat, it was so stressful and so difficult. Like it sounds really hard having a female dog that isn't desexed because they get their period and then you put a nappy on them, but they rip off the nappy and then they pee in the nappy and it's smelly and then they attract all these male dogs and 
It just sounds really hard. Ill, why are we having a dog statue in the cat apartment? I love that the cats can go on top of here too. Remember to hydrate, thank you. I will take a break to hydrate shortly. Um, and I think I'll, I think Cicely Grissy might call in. Now, there is a chance the audio may not work, but I, I'm pretty sure it will. Oh, <laughs> that's so funny, Tayhan. Merge the cat with the umbrella rack. Oh, uh, we weren't we weren't using many season stuff. But I mean, if an umbrella, if I'm really if we're using. Wait, how do you merge it with the umbrella rack? Like inside it, on top of it. Let me see if Olivia's. Oh my God, yeah, this 17.5 year old border collie called Dougie. That's so cute. Haven't you ever seen a dog statue umbrella rack? No. Dog statue umbrella rack. Oh, now I have. That's pretty cool. How sweet. Uh, Donkey of Prey, thank you so much for the four months. Just size up the cat. Whoa, that cat looks... Oh. I don't think the Sims could use this, though. I think they'll be able to use it. Oh, we could put a laundry at the front door. Oh no, but then there'll be dirty clothes all over the lot. Simguru ninjas. Yeah, his puppies are so cute. Okay, let's try and give the slicker a call. Hello, testing one, two, three. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Mm, it's not coming through the stream. <sighs> I can hear yeah. you. That is a little bit of a shame. I have an idea I, though. I just, I watched you? James do this setting before. Oh, you can hear her? Oh wait, what? <laughs> they can hear you. Yay, it's work. Yay. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This audio Yay. interface is so broken because I should be able to see when it's working and it's not showing anything when you speak. <laughs> It's broken just like 2020. Oh Aimed my god. Truth, everybody. <laughs> I think I was PMSing today because I got so upset and frustrated when the stream wasn't working earlier. I know. That's okay. I know. The that. um the it seems like a bigger deal to you the creator compared to the audience. As the audience, we're all here, we're just chilling, waiting. Yeah. You know, it's kind of interesting, like seeing the behind the scenes and everything. Yeah, it's like, oh, whatever. She'll be on, hopefully. But I yeah, can go cook and do whatever. Meanwhile, I'm here being like, it's not working. <laughs> yeah, and for you, you're like, oh, my gosh, we've got 900 people here. And, <laughs> oh, I mean, you're human. Everyone would start, you know, feeling anxious and stuff. But for us, we're all chilled. And you had the funny thing was the music was working pretty well. I know. And it was like this super chill music <laughs> and we're all like, oh, yeah, you could have kept building actually. And I'm sure a lot of us would have just watched Aww. even just with the with the music. That's really nice. <laughs> okay. So, guys, um, we have to just, uh, <laughs> I was going to say fiddle with the audio. <laughs> it just sounded weird. <laughs> we might have to just play with the audio. Okay. Still sounding weird. 
we just have to like work out the audio okay so just bear with us i think i could be a little loud but i'll move the mic back let me actually i'll look in another can you speak again okay i'll keep talking oh my gosh it's so good to see everyone oh. it's so good to be on stream oh i missed you guys we missed you too i miss you guys a lot this year i'm gonna be honest because um I've heard people talk about on social media, there's a bit of a problem where it's show your best and hide the rest. And that's not a very cool thing. And I've got to be honest, I've had a really tough 2020, like a lot of people. Mm. Oh, it's been really, really hard. So I'm just now finally getting back to being online and being a little bit more in, you know, like the public sphere, you know mm. what I'm trying to say? Mm. Online-ness-ness. Okay, I'm still a little loud. I mean, I can move. <laughs> You're like moving microphone. further away from the mic. So I'll no, tell, I've, I'll I've tell you it. what's happening. Um, okay. I think... I think your sound is coming through the same audio settings as my mic. So if I turn you down, it turns me down. Okay, so in which case I should move my microphone way back so you're the leading lady. I think I could maybe turn you down. Thanks, guys. Did that work? Oh, God, she's gone. Hello? Oh, no. I got rid of... Oh, no. Hold on, Olivia, I'll bring you back. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Oh no. Where did she go? Oh dear. It's just gone. Oh, I oh no. I did one thing and now I Oh dear. Um I shouldn't have done anything. You should have just sat a meter away from the microphone. Oh dear. Maybe it's... Olivia? Hello? She's gone. Jams! Jams! <laughs> Jams! Jams! I literally just turned her down from 100% to 80% and it cut it. It's so sad. Hmm. Maybe if I disconnect or reconnect, it'll work. Looking? Hey, I think you're back. Tech support. Wait, I think you're back. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello? Hello? You can hear me? True. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, it's coming through. I've been just back. sat here talking to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Did James fix it? Um, no, I fixed it. Oh, wow. Um, An independent but, woman. You don't need no man. I don't need no man, but I think I know how to fix it now. Wait. Okay, it. cool. Okay, so cool. what I will do <laughs> is... I will turn you okay. down again, do exactly what I did before, mm -hmm. which may cut you out, which means I will leave the call <laughs> and reconnect okay. and it should work. All right. Okay. Okay. So don't we worry. We got this, everyone. You'll be back soon. We got soon, this, everyone. And you should be more <laughs> quiet. All right. That's cool. Because okay. I'm, yeah, I'm the wing lady. Okay. 
Is she a little you, softer, you guys? I can still hear you, by the way. Okay, I've got to, I just got to keep talking. Yeah. <laughs> just talk and talk and talk. I was sat here singing the farmhouse song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I fixed it. And you're softer. Oh, nice. oh my god. Oh, good. Yay. Not I as loud now. It. Cool. And we didn't even cool. need jams. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, that worked out. I mean, I don't really know how to fix it next stream, but it's working for now, so that's good. Oh well, my gosh, how exciting! Yay! Welcome so back fun. to the streams. You, it's been a while, Crocodile. It has been a while, kiddo. It has been a little while. Yeah, <laughs> I've been kind of MIA in 2020. Like I said, I've had a tough few months, yeah. as a lot of us have. So I'm just trying to get back into everything now. Yeah, I haven't even had a haircut for six months. Everything's been so locked down. Oh, no. Melbourne has been very unlucky. I'd be interested to hear what you guys, maybe you could type something in the chat so we know what's kind of going on in different countries. But um, Melbourne has been locked down for like six months and I'm talking like stage three or four, can't get haircuts. You can't get allied health. Well, a lot of it you can't. And get this, this is pretty mad. If we go and see, try and see a family member or a friend, it is a $5,000 fine. Mm -hmm. How's that? How is that? Crazy. So, yeah, I think our mental health hasn't been the greatest. Poor but, um, I mean, yeah. worldwide it's been tough. <laughs> it's Brooker says, well, the U.S. is falling apart for everyone. Good girl. <laughs> A lot of, yeah, it's just, what a year. Um, a friend of mine said, 2020 has been cancelled. <laughs> I thought that was pretty good. <laughs> yep, it's just simply cancelled. <laughs> it's just and simple as that. As soon as it's over, we'll never talk about it again. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, one of my favourite, like, tweets I've seen this year was one of yours, Deli, and you mm -hmm. said something like, um, Oh, did you guys know that we had a meteorite shower recently? And I'm just surprised it didn't actually hit Earth because it's 2020. I know. Like, I, I'm very surprised that it didn't. <laughs> I would have assumed it would. Oh, it's interesting seeing what people are writing in the comments. The underpants um, tweet. <laughs> yeah, the comments are <laughs> interesting. Yeah, well, I... I don't know if you know this about me, but I haven't worn really underpants since the pandemic started. Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, I just gave up on underpants altogether. You're, you're kidding me. No, I haven't. Like, I've probably worn them when I've worn jeans. So maybe okay, like hold on. Times. Hashtag TMA. <laughs> Hashtag TMA. I didn't think that was a thing that people didn't wear underwear. <laughs> well, I... That is... I will always put on my knickers <laughs> well i did it i haven't um because i wear leggings every day i have oh, okay. um an oh, abundance so of leggings funny. i have seven pairs so they're just on rotation so i essentially just wash them after i wear them <laughs> okay well i i would never do that like ever doesn't matter how bad it gets <laughs> <laughs> well it's what I've been doing, and I have to tell you, it's very freeing. <laughs> Someone put hashtag commando, which is really funny. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if anything, it's, you know, it's just more comfortable, the comfortable way of life. That is hilarious. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Hashtag TMA. We did a lot of hash. We've done it. It's kind of like a running joke. We've done a lot of hashtag TMIs mm -hmm. over our online presence. And that's one of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just having I'm just having a read of the chat right now. Yeah. Let's have a look. Where um, is everyone from? We have 900 people here, which is a lot of people given we had all those tech difficulties at the start. Mm -hmm. Um and that's I, a lot of and people. And I haven't posted that we're live anywhere. Like, yeah, we that's just went kind live, of amazing. So there's no like the only notifications okay, would be Discord and uh, Twitch. So you guys have your notifications on. And if you guys don't know who I am, I'm Delhi's in real life sister. It's just the two of us. We don't have other siblings or anything that we know um, of. 
and <laughs> that we know of. And I live next to Delhi and Bowser. So mm-hmm. um, we're pretty close for sisters. Yeah. And say. it's amazing because you moved next door right before the pandemic. I mean. A week before everything shut down. How crazy is that? <laughs> really crazy. Like, amazing. Oh, I think Bowser's wanting to come in. Oh, someone said Sister Goosey has jams as a bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's a bro. It's true. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a few shout outs because I love when I'm in a stream and I get shouted out. It's the best. <laughs> Yay! So, shout out right. time. I'm gonna shout out Juju Magumbo. Because we love Juju. Um oh James is here too. Yeah, oh, Bowser's and here. I think Bowser and James are coming to say hi. So while you do the okay, shout I'll- outs, I'll bring our furry we'll friend in. Okay. So I'm going to quickly shout out Peachy Perfect, Mithla, Zimazizzle, CC, Kakya, J, is it Mustache? Come on, Come on. Oh, he's gone. Honey Baby. Katie Lou who? Good boy. Oh, Bows. <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Bows. He is so cute. He's so much work, but he's so cute. <laughs> he's like having a child Bowsie? for real. I, I like to call him Simba sometimes because or oh, Mufasa. Mufasa. Bowser, he's such a big boy now. He oh my gosh. And he is all confused. <laughs> oh, he's gone. Don't you think? I feel like he looks like a lion. Like he has a mane. He totally does. <laughs> did you give some shout outs? I did. But then. Bowser <laughs> took the spotlight. <laughs> he tends okay. to do that. Isn't he just like amazing? Whenever we're walking Bowser, he just, he's stopped so many times. He is like a celebrity. People come up and go, oh, what a beautiful dog. Oh, wow. What kind of dog is he? He's amazing. He even gets like fan photos. It's yeah. True. And because he's aware of like a lot of animals they know when they're getting their picture taken and they just move away from the camera (laughs) they're like celebrities they're like sorry but you can't photograph me right now yeah so he He has an interesting thing about a chow chow is that they have a personality that's a lot like a cat so if you're a cat person Mm. yeah yeah he's i feel like he's about 10 different animals put together honestly (laughs) I think he is too. Has, has like a lion's mane, but he has a fox tail and he has he has hooves as well. So there's a bit of horse in him. He's a bit of a cat. Sometimes he looks like a giant sea slug. I don't know. A sea slug? <laughs> Sometimes when he's sat on the balcony and the oh, wind is kind of oh, like going a up walrus. on his fur and pushing it forward. Yeah, a walrus, yeah. He does look like a walrus sometimes. Don't tell him that though. <laughs> um also just a couple of shout outs quickly montana thank you so much uh for gifting a sub to charlie bear and juju magumbo for gifting three subs as well to nixie rebel laura love and dungeon master namaste may bobo bless you uh and livy divi thanks for subscribing and Nashelle bosk thanks for subscribing as well livy divi that's in olivia i think it's cool yeah um yeah well i was doing some reading and there yes a lot of people don't think this is true but okay well, let's put it to the you know put it to the the crowd yeah but um there are still people who think it's possible chows came from bears 
<laughs> I was wondering where you're going to go with that. Like, Charles came from outer space, so I didn't know what you were going to say. From that royalty, Charles but... are um, aliens. <laughs> <laughs> I think octopus are aliens. Because there's a conspiracy Undercover. theory about lizard people, isn't there? Mm-hmm. That's a thing. E- um, um, like Elon Musk and Facebook yeah, they... man. Facebook man? <laughs> Actually, I can't remember his name either. Facebook man works. Mark um, Zuckerberg. Zuck- Zuckerberg. I always go to call him Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's all right. Sometimes if I suddenly stop talking, it's because the audio, uh, it's not 100% quite right. And sometimes when I talk, when Delhi talks, there's a bit of feedback or something. I don't think you guys get that. But if I suddenly stop talking at strange times, I'd like to think it's not because of my social skills. <laughs> it's because <laughs> of the audio. You're just this person who's like, oh. Hey, my name is Cicely Grissy. <laughs> <laughs> just have very strange intonations. Charles of cows with an H, yeah. I have a, I've been told I have a, a bit of a strange accent though. It's not fully Australian. It's kind of, sometimes it is, but then it can sound like other, another accent, other accents. I mean, cause I've spent a lot of time with people from different parts of the world. Yeah. Do you guys, does this secrecy sound um, Australian to you guys? Like the accent? Like sometimes it will be very Aussie and then it will kind of not be, I don't know. Mm. Just depends on the day, really. Amber Tali says Delhi has a unique Aussie accent. Yes, I. Some <laughs> Australians ask if I'm American. It's happened. Really? It's, it's happened. Okay. Like more than like six or more times, I've been asked if I'm American. <laughs> Scoop Girl, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, sweet dreams. And she said, saying hello to both of you. Aw. Thanks, Scoop Girl. Sleep tight. Oh, that's funny. An American has just said, well, I don't hear Delhi with an American accent. No, it's only Australians who would hear it. Or maybe, like, some other countries, but yeah. Um, We've got an interesting question here. I would kind of be curious about this if I didn't know us. Um, Alice, I can't say the rest of your username, says, does Sisigusi and yourself ever call each other your Gracie names off of camera? Yeah, we do quite a lot. I'll be like, Deli, or especially she'll call me (laughs) Sisigusi. Deli will say, Bowser, Sisigusi is here. You do that quite a bit. (laughs) But I get into more trouble when I call you Delhi because you're often like, no, I'm not Delhi all the time. Like, which I think is <laughs> kind of funny. Do I actually say that? You have in the past, but I don't really? know. You might have been PMSing or something. Who knows? Oh, I'm going <laughs> to. But be this is interesting. A crazy PMS streamer soon. <laughs> have a look at this. This is really cool. We didn't figure this out for a long time, but I'm going to type in. Delhi's real name, Madeline, and look what's smack bang in the middle of Madeline. Now we didn't realize this. A viewer pointed this out to Delhi, mm-hmm. like two years into her career, <laughs> something like that. We had no idea. It was like it was meant to be a foreshadowing. Coincidence? I think not. I think not. So if you can't see the chat, I should probably explain it. So Delhi is in Madeline. Ooh, conspiracy theory. Conspiracy. You're a lizard person. I'm not a lizard person. <laughs> yes, you are. You're choo choo time. You're related. You're related to um Zuckerberg. And I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but in James Turner YT. Yeah. There is the name James. Coincidence? <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> I think not. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I swore. Ooh. 
Uh, wait, we're over. Wait, what's this Twitch? This is a mature over age 15? stream. Yeah, okay. and there's a mature age warning. I don't like to swear around the kitties. I feel bad. You've got a potty mouth. You've got a potty mouth. I try <laughs> not to swear. I um, my partner swears a hell of a lot, and top, um, top, top, from top. his his neck of the woods. It's like I, cultural. I would have so, um, a word. And I try so hard not to swear, but I blame it on him. <laughs> I, yeah. I just don't really, I just don't really swear. I never really have. Delhi doesn't. Like, that's actually quite impressive that she really doesn't swear. Yeah, I don't know how. How do, how do you not, though, like, when you drop something or break something like how does that just not come to mind well i don't know this doesn't really yeah it does it doesn't really james does swear james swears a bit tara and max is like i swear a lot <laughs> i'm glad you're honest yeah i don't know most people swear Someone, and I'm sorry, I like to read out the actual name when someone writes a comment. It's nice to be read out. I just think that's fun. But someone said, where does a Gracie come from in Delhi Gracie? Well, interestingly, and this is another cool story, Grace is my middle name. So mm. I later figured that out. So that's kind of cool. So our names actually were in the online names and we didn't know it. Coincidence. I think I not. Think not. <laughs> <laughs> um, most Aussies I have met have not sworn in daily conversation a lot. Oh, really? The Bogan Aussie stereotype swears a lot. Trade, trade, tradies swear a lot. But I think that's anywhere. Seems to be that work culture. I like this comment from Punk Princess, and she says, I started swearing a lot when a man told me once that I was ladylike or that women shouldn't swear. So <laughs> she started swearing. Just to prove the point. You stick it to him. I love that. It's great. That is, yeah. So getting back to The Sims, what is everyone thinking of this build and be nice <laughs> i'm gonna throw nice that in or else i will block you <laughs> <laughs> or else i will block you because so what what do we think let's give like nice feedback we don't need it <laughs> we don't need to be mean now okay and if the chat was just like i hate it <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let, I'll read out some comments. Um, Ray Leon says, this is a very cool house. Um, <laughs> Pixelated Jordan says, why would the Pickle fam ever be mean to Delhi? That's true. I don't think you guys are ever mean. The true, I feel like the true Pickle fam isn't mean to Delhi, but there are a lot of people who aren't the Pickle fam and they come in and it's like, oh, wow. Now that is potty mouth on another level. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'm talking about comments on YouTube videos and stuff like that. Yeah, um, YouTube's the the top place. I mean, a lot of people say Twitch is really tough for trolls, but I it, we just don't have the audience here that's like that. And there's excellent modding as well. Yeah, well, true. It's basically the mods. <laughs> and, that's, and, and Kevin. Things put in place. Um... Uh, okay, let's have a look at some other comments. Uh, someone just asked, is that Delhi's sister talking? Yes, it is. Um, yes, it is. Yes, I don't know why. I, yeah, after I said that, I was like, what was that? <laughs> it wasn't that weird. Kristen says, I love how colourful. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, I really like that you're branching out with um with your builds thanks kid it's really nice i yeah you're getting diverse and inclusive and 